So I start with a concept sketch of what I want to do. This particular painting is called Wakeful. And I prep the canvas with a muted gray so that the colors will be true. I mix up my texture medium and apply some acrylic ink. And I apply the texture to the moon area, trying to make it seem 3D on the canvas. Next I apply the waves. This way when I do the acrylic pour on top, they will have a three-dimensional quality. Consulting my concept sketch, I had a color palette that I wanted to use, so I lay out my colors and start mixing for the acrylic pour. Apply an under color before I pour, that way the canvas won't show through if there are low spots in the pour. I apply all my colors. and then I move them around with my fingers. Next I apply a texture. Next I apply the highlights from the moon and then pour the sky after the ocean is dry. The sky I wanted to do a little differently this time. Instead of going horizontally when I pull the colors across, I went vertically with the colors. I thought this would make it more unique, uh, less uh, similar to the ocean below. mess around with it until I'm happy. Once everything's dry from the pour, I then do another layer of texture. This time, I apply the yellow man to the scene. I wanted him to jump out from the canvas as well, so I applied a lot of texture to his body. This is difficult at times because using a palette knife, it's not as um, easy to use as a brush when applying a texture, but you can get some unique shapes out of the texture using a palette knife. So I did as much as I could and then I carved the rest from there. Once the yellow man is dry, then I proceed to use oil paints, and then that's when I add all the details to the painting. I fill in places that the pour missed, and I add shadows and highlights, and this really adds depth to the painting. As you can see with the moon, I can add shadows to make it look even more like it's coming off the canvas, like it's an orb. finished painting is done. As you can see when I walk around the painting, you can see the texture that I applied underneath the pour, as well as the shading and highlights I applied to the yellow man. I also added some glitter to the waves, so when light hits it, it'll look and react like actual waves that are lit from the moon above. This is a close-up of the yellow man. You can see the details in his shorts and his t-shirt. 
And then with the moon, with the texture, it gets those shadows that the moon has at night. And here's the finished painting.